Hey guys, so today I went to Menards oh, and I bought a few things. It came up to be $20, $21 pretty much. So I bought these U-bolts. They are two inch wide by, what does that say? Four inch tall, four inch tall, two inch wide. I also went and bought these <clears throat> wood they're one inch thick two and a half inch wide and they are four feet long so my plan is to mount that onto my roof rack uh, my uh, my canoe is actually too wide for those stock um, roof rack so I am trying to extend it the cheap way so I'm going to use two of these on each and I will show you guys the end product. Alright guys, so I ended up putting these at the 1 foot mark or the 12 inches mark because uh, it is uh, um, 4 feet like I said so um, I did 12 inches from the end and now I'm going to mount it on top. Alright guys, so this is what I end up with. Um, center it as best as you can and then just tighten the bolts um, evenly and you should be good to go. I'm going to finish up on the other end. Not rocking science guys. That's it. Alright guys, so I have it all bolted up and it is good to go. I feel like there might be a little bit of wind noise because of this little space down here, but it's gonna be okay. I don't think it'd be an issue. Alright, on to the next upgrade. I hope you guys enjoy. And I will be making some more videos. Hey everyone, so how's it going? Um, I'm back again with some modification to my third generation 4Runner. Uh, today I am doing some rod holders. So I looked over some YouTube tutorials and I figured out I'll, I'll just do it too uh, so shout out to I'll put them in the description below but shout out to those people um, went ahead about two of these so I have four that's something else this is something else some zip ties 
a meat. And this is something else. Also got these. I have the, I've got to bring it over, but I have some um, shower curtain hanger. Give me a second. All right, guys, I also bought these shower rod. So I got all these from um, Walmart. So I got two of these. Let me put these back. But anyways, I'm going to hang these on the window. And I'm going to bend these down a little bit. You can, as you can see, it's, it's slightly tapered up. So I'm going to strain that out a little bit. And these... I'm thinking about drilling a hole here because I believe these end caps are hollow. So I'm thinking about drilling a hole here on each end and then I'll connect to it and I'll turn it to tighten it so that's the plan we'll see how it goes and then um, I'm gonna use these zip ties to zip ties these rings so I could put the uh, fishing pole through here so you'll see at the end let's see how it goes so the first thing I'm gonna put up is these Pretty self explanatory. Alright, so this is the wall side. I should probably bend these first. Get some pliers. Alright, so these are the only ones I can find. So I hope this works. Hope I don't break the plastic. Plastic probably will break. I'm gonna go. It's gonna break. I need another plier. All right, let's see how this goes. Hold that. Harder than I thought. All right. I guess this is gonna have to do. Oh, the sun's in the way. Alright. So I'm gonna do this to all four of them. So they are hollow. So I'm just gonna actually might not have to. There's a there's a hole in there already. Yes, it is sunny and raining at the same time. Minnesota. Alright, I'm gonna put the um the 
hangers up and put these up on the window. Move, press to wall for 10 seconds. Slide the hook off and on. And then press for 30 seconds. Put the hook back, okay. You know what guys, I should probably measure this, but I'm just gonna wing it. It's gonna take these off later anyways. You know what, I forgot to use alcohol wipes. Shoot. Alright, let's do this again. Need some alcohol wipes. Since I already touched this, I'm gonna wipe that. Wipe over the area here. I'm gonna let it dry. I thought this was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, you guys can't. But the sun is out. And it's raining. And I can see the rainfall. The raindrops. Alright, so I pressed that for 30 seconds. I'm going to do that on the other side. And then, uh, yeah. Alright, now. For this, I can just peel this off. I don't need this anymore. All right. I don't have really good lighting guys uh, that's how it looks like oh such bad lighting anyways that's how it looks like all right I'm gonna do the front now the middle one or the front near the front You guys can hear me so I'm gonna put it right here yeah right here can't go any higher I think it's... yeah I think I'm gonna go right here might be I might have to go lower honestly because I need contact right here
So I figure with these, if ever it comes off, I'll just buy some replacement. I'll extend to review. That's it. All right, here's a much closer look. Uh, uh, how it is, it's really simple. I was lucky this thing came with um, a hole already, so that's it. All right, guys. I um, sorry about the uh, awful lighting, but the next thing for me to do is some zip ties and then use those uh, rings and zip tie them onto that I don't know, pole. So. So it goes. All right, guys, so you guys get the idea. Poor lighting, guys. I'll do some. I'll do some over here. The light is not helping at all. So it's actually not going to move. It shouldn't slide. I mean, I don't think I'm going to put that much G-force to move it. So I'm going to put maybe three more, make it six total. We'll see. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy that it's a quick video. Um, I'm trying to make my video a little bit better quality but um things are expensive you know what i mean but anyways um uh if you have any questions or any suggestions that you guys need uh, that uh, you guys have um post it up in the comment below um some more video should be coming out soon uh, i have a few other things that i want to do um so yeah keep an eye out for my video all right, see you, everyone.